Well, police and SWAT swarm a Raleigh home, but it turns out it was all just a hoax. Mm -hmm. It's also known as swatting. Raleigh police calling it a serious danger to the community and something they simply do not take lightly. CBS 17's Amalia Roy is live tonight with this story, digging deeper into how dangerous these calls can really be. Rod, these calls can be dangerous. I mean, the people who are on this street woke up to many of them not knowing what was happening when police were swarming the area, when in reality it was RPD that was responding to a call at this house on the end of Griffiths Glen Drive for a shooting that never happened. Police cars and armored vehicles shutting down this Raleigh neighborhood Friday morning. Around 9.30, RPD responded to a shooting call at this home on Griffiths Glen Drive. He's also advised me he will shoot anyone that comes to the home. One neighbor who lives two doors down says it was a scary situation to wake up to. It was hard to process for a second because I didn't know like how to process it. It was just too much. You know, it was like a whole movie scene. After more investigation, RPD found that it was a hoax. This is uh, possibly a swatting incident. Swatting is when someone calls in a fake threat to bring armed law enforcement to a victim's house. But what it is, is illegal, and there are serious consequences to making this type of call. Last March, a Wake Forest family became victims of a swatting call on Easter Sunday. Dozens of emergency crews rushing to their home after Wake Forest PD says they got a call about people shot and someone barricaded inside the home. RPD says these calls aren't just a waste of resources, they can be dangerous. We have to approach every single call involving, in this case, someone being shot as if there is a person that is on scene that might still be armed. RPD says that they are still investigating this incident and they do have the number of the caller from this hoax call. RPD also says that if anyone finds themselves on the receiving end of a call like this, that they need to just follow what the officer says exactly because like he because like Jason Borneo said from RPD, that this can be a very dangerous situation for everyone. Live in Raleigh, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. Yeah, I couldn't imagine waking up to that. Oh, terrible. All right. Amalia, thank you.